hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video Liko is asking big brother advice on er on erica we are still on this matter <laughs> like i feel for Liko, like feels pain like erica just told him to his face like to his face that ah his interest he is only attracted to him mentally but not like physically i know so he just has to take it like that like i feel for the guy so just listen to the advice Biggie's giving him well, in this video and yeah so make sure to make sure to subscribe <laughs> make sure to subscribe so like and yeah so Sunday. don't miss out on any any updates that i'll be and giving you guys so i watch till watch till the end of this video because yeah i'm going to even get some advice from big brother that makes sense like just watch just watch and that technically means i have to withdraw and step back for them to continue with whatever it is they have and that kind of makes me feel sad and hurt because i've never been in this kind of situation before so and where does the optimism stem from i feel optimistic because well right now i'm sad and i'm hurt about it but it can only get better for me because naturally when this kind of thing when i sense that this kind of thing is going to happen to me i run away from the situation and here i'm happy that i had the chance to actually face this kind of situation and learn from it which i i think i have kind of learned from it and i'm optimistic that yeah i'm going to be fine that's the only thing that can happen right now me getting better me feeling better regardless of whatever it is happen. I know when I see them together, I feel some type of way, I feel awkward and I feel kind of pained, but I still feel like moving forward for me, it's, I'm going to only feel better. It's not going to get worse. And for the fact that I've spoken to her about my feelings and how I am taking the whole situation. So I feel like, yeah, I'm going to feel better eventually and I'll be fine. So that's where the optimism is from. And what lesson have you learned from this situation? Well, the first thing is, when you're faced with a situation, running away isn't the best option, to be honest. And you need to just push on whatever uh, type of emotion you find yourself experiencing you should try to run away from it and you shouldn't try to shut it out because i believe that if i was not here and this kind of thing happens i would do the same thing i had always done which was run away from the situation but here i had to face it and i'm still going to have to continue seeing them be together so that's that means i have to really try and control emotions and try to make sure it doesn't affect whatever I'm trying to do in the house and whatever friendship it is I'm trying to keep with the housemates that involved in this whole triangle thing. The other lesson I learned is um, sometimes things don't always go your way and sometimes you have to speak your mind. Like when you start feeling some type of way towards somebody, you need to say it as soon as you start feeling it. You don't need to um, elongate the things that you feel you need to speak it you need to say it because i i felt like if i had told her how i felt earlier before he did it might have been different and so these are the lessons that i've been able to pick up from this whole situation and i i feel good about the lesson though i feel pain about the outcome but the lessons i took from it are good enough for me and moving forward i feel like this kind of situation i would handle it pretty much more better than I did in this instance. Lay calm. Yes, big brother. Sometimes the people you want may not want you to. When your advances are spurned, it shouldn't make you feel or think less of yourself. After all, everybody has a preference. The fact that you might not be someone's